The European Commission is a member of the so-called Troika, and if I'm not mistaken, this is your first trip as a Commissioner for Health in Greece. Have you visited a Greek public hospital so far? Uh, no, I am visiting a clinic this afternoon for HIV AIDS, which is partly funded by the uh, European mm -hmm. uh, Union. This is my first official uh, visit to Greece as Commissioner, because I was first invited by Greece. Actually, I think you should, sir, because had you visited a Greek public hospital, then you should have seen the despair of the Greek doctors and the Greek nurses that they are the pain themselves and they cannot provide the basic health care services to the people in need. I have come to know about these uh, problems because of course I read and I listen, but I must say also that the European Union is helping the government uh, a lot. Just to give you an uh, example, I know that there are a, number, a large number of uninsured people inside, the, uh, inside Greece and that thanks to the European Social Fund and to millions of euros, with euros which will be made available, there will be a system of vouchers to cover at least 100,000 of these uninsured uh, people. This, is, this goes to show the contribution of the European Union in this regard, but of course the primary responsibility of running the health system remains on member states. Yeah, but this uh, voucher uh, system hasn't started yet. Uh, yes, but, I, uh, but there I, I, I believe that an agreement will be signed with the Social Security European Commissioner soon, and uh, that will be a step in the right direction. In the meantime, sir, every single day, 30 to 36 Greeks that are critically ill are in a waiting list, waiting for a bed in an intensive care. We do have 150, more than 150 uh, beds in an intensive care unit that cannot be used because of the nurses' shortages. Any, every health system I know of has problems of uh, waiting lists. Um, of course, my intention is that, and that this has been a message which I have delivered, that the debt crisis should not lead to a health crisis inside the European Union. Even now with the journalists, I said that the rich and the poor mm -hmm. and the middle class are all entitled to the same basic uh, health care in the European Union. From the very first day um, that this economic crisis started in our country, uh, Sky uh, Group has been next to the people that are in need and cannot provide for their families food and uh, or even drugs. With our campaign, Olimazi Borome, we started to uh, support um, those that are less privileged in our society. Is this the way forward um, of a civil society that the state cannot fully provide for every uh, citizen, even the basic. It's one of the ways forward. I always said, thank God for the voluntary sector. It doesn't mean that the primary responsibility to provide these things is not in the hands of the state. But if the voluntary associations, or like this initiative from your Sky Group, complement the state, this is something positive. It goes to show that civil society is not an enemy of the government or an adversary of the government, but complements and helps in the provision of healthcare. So this is something very positive, which should not be viewed as a criticism of the current health situation, but of complementing the public authorities in matters of health.